This is a quick video to show you how to use the parametric plot function on your IOLAB program. So let's say that we wanted to graphically confirm Hooke's law. So you did this earlier in the semester where you stretched out the spring by a certain amount and measured the force at each of those distances. Now we know that if I turn on the IOLAB, I can turn on my force probe and get a graph of that. However, if I turn on this wheel sensor, I can also select the position graph. And that means that I flip this over, and now I can measure the distance that the IOLAB has stretched out directly. So this would be zero, and then I'd be able to measure how far it went. So I don't need a ruler for this. So now let me show you what the data looks like. So I'd click record, and I'd hold this steady and just stretch it out a bit. In fact, I can go back and forth here. And then I'll stop taking my data, and I'll zoom in just a bit here. And we can definitely see that there's some relationship here between these two things, but this isn't a very good way to confirm Hooke's law. We don't actually want to be graphing force versus time and position versus time. We want to graph force versus position. And how do we do that? Well, this is what's called a parametric plot. Up here at the top, we're currently on chart mode. Right beside it is another button that says parametric plot mode. So I'll click on that and it now gives me a graph of the wheel position versus the force. And I can swap the axes here if I want to. And down below, it's got a little mini version of those two graphs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag to highlight this area, and you can see that it's drawing the relationship between these two axes. So the force versus the position. And it's a nice linear graph. So basically, we just confirmed Hooke's law with this graph the slope of this would be equal to k, the spring constant. Now you may be wondering why didn't we do that during the semester, and that's because this doesn't actually give you the slope of these things. You'd have to hover your mouse, get the values, and calculate your own slope and uncertainty. So it's actually more accurate to do it by hand. But this is a nice bit of functionality to know about, that you can select any two of these sensors and do a parametric plot, and you can very quickly see the relationship between two variables.